If you are a medical student, you know that microbiology is a second year subject where we are going to study a lot about the microorganisms like bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasitology. I have completed this subject for the second year prof exams but I haven't completed this for the from the marrow. So I have decided to complete this entire second year subject. So in this video, you are going to see a medical student that is me completing an entire microbiology in just 8 days. If you guys are new to this channel, this is Chandan, an intern working at ACSR Government Medical College, Nellore. I don't know about you guys but microbiology subject is a little tough for me because I have to remember a lot of things and the number of the lectures in the marrow for this subject was 60. Uh, although they are very less in number but the, uh, the lectures are pretty lengthy and uh, 40 to 50 percent of the lectures are more than one hour and it makes it more difficult for me to complete this subject. I have already completed 8 to 9 lectures yesterday and I have made a video on it. So it's a really good video where I share my experience of first day of my internship. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. I'm going to provide the link down below. Firstly, I've started with the bacteriology. The reason why I've started with the bacteriology is because it actually compresses a major chunk of the subject. That means almost 30 videos out of 60 in the marrow are actually from the bacteriology itself. And a lot of uh, MCQs are actually asked from the bacteriology itself in the INICT and the NEET. And if, I go, if I'm going to complete this bacteriology, I get the confidence that I've completed a major portion of the subject. As I already told you guys, Dr. Shivika Mem is a microbiology marrow faculty who has made our lives easier by making a lot of mnemonics, especially when it comes to bacteriology because it is really difficult for us to remember every single point about all the bacteria and she also made the subject microbiology more concise and more conceptual. At the end of the day one, I have completed almost 8 to 7 lectures from the bacteriology. In the day two, I want to complete same number of the lectures at the day one or maybe more than that. Unfortunately, I was feeling a little low. I don't know why, but uh, I have pushed myself to complete uh, four lectures and currently I'm watching the fifth lecture. So it is uh, very important for me to push myself because uh, this is the only time I'm going to get. So after this, me and my friend actually went out for the dinner to the blind chemistry. And there we had this spicy chicken pasta. This pasta is my favorite of all time. And we also tried this crepe with the vanilla ice cream, which is also tastes really good. Today is March 6 and the time is uh, 7.51. Uh, today's plan is to uh, complete at least uh, 10 lectures. Yes, I have kept a target of 10 lectures because I have to complete those previous pending lectures, which I haven't completed the day before. There is always this thought running in my mind that am I overdoing it? Am I over pushing myself? The answer to this question is no because a lot of medical students have completed the subject and a lot of medical students might have revised this so many times but here i am in my internship still still trying to complete the second year medical subject so it's really important for me to push myself uh, whenever i'm going to get time and uh, what do you think will i be able to complete the 10 lectures in the single day <laughs> time is 6.39 actually and guess what I have completed uh, 8 lectures by now and uh, I have 2 more lectures to go so I think I will be able to complete those 2 lectures by dinner and uh, so that I will get time to revise the lectures uh, the previous lectures I mean uh, the yesterday's 5 lectures also I did not revise so uh, continuously watching the lectures uh, doesn't make any sense we definitely have to revise them again and again because in the end, uh, it's not about how many lectures we have watched. It's about how much information we have retained and uh, we definitely have to revise. And After completing those 10 lectures, I thought of revising those lectures and do some MCQs. But you know, nothing goes as planned in your life. There is a change in the plan. My friends uh, are uh, posted in the Ops and Gain and today is their night duty. Uh, I thought of going to the night duty with them. I mean, not the complete night duty, uh, like from uh, 9 to 12 o'clock so the reason why I am thinking to go to the night duty is after this is SPM I am I am also posted in Ops and Gain so as my friends are there in the Ops and Gain there is a chance for me to learn something so I am thinking to go I still remember those words my Ops HOD ma'am used to say this is a special department where we are going to deal with the two lives mother and the baby whereas all other departments are going to deal with a single life now the time is 11.27 uh, Yesterday, I went to the night duty and I thought of staying till 12 o'clock but I ended up staying till uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, till then, I mean like I have given treatment to a few people in the RR room and uh, I have to check PPs for a lot of people and I have took to 
uh, blood samples to few people and I've wrote the repeats. And by now, I know a uh, gross idea of what's happening in the department uh, and uh, when I get posted in ops, I think it'll be useful for me. In the day four, I haven't kept any target because uh, the effect of the night duty will definitely be there on me and there's no point in studying in that state of mind. But to my advantage, I was studying immunology. I don't know why I feel immunology a little easy just because maybe we study it from the other subjects also like pathology and the medicine. I don't know why. I ended up completing five lectures from the morning and uh, I'm going to complete two more lectures. With that, my immunology will get over. Slowly, slowly, the number of the lectures which I have completed has started to increase. So as my confidence level, it's been so many months that I've been this consistent, maybe during the final year theory exams, I hope. I'm kind of liking the fact that Unlike our neat UG days, where we used to study continuously in our hostels, not even knowing what's happening in the outside world, we have learned to manage our personal life with the studies and all other extracurricular activities. Though I'm not really good at work-life balance, especially when it comes to YouTube, it takes a lot of time for me to create a single video. As I'm a beginner, uh, let's say for this video, it took me almost 8 to 9 days to shoot this video and 2 days to edit this video. I am putting a lot of effort and time in creating these videos. The only thing which I would ask from your side is to hit that subscribe button, show some love and which would make up for all of that. In the day 5, I have completed almost 10 lectures that is a few videos of the fungi and the whole virology I have completed. Today is the last day and I am left with the whole parasitology and few mycology videos that means in order to complete the whole microbiology subject, I have to study 13 to 14 more lectures in the last day. Today, I've completed mycology and a few parasitology videos and uh, I am left with 4 to 5 parasitology videos only so with that my microbiology will get completed and uh, I would say bye bye to microbiology and uh, I'll see you guys after watching the videos Hey guys, uh, now the time is you can see it's uh, almost two o'clock. So I have completed microbiology. Finally, finally I've done this. I've completed entire microbiology subject. I have never imagined myself completing even 10 lectures in a single day, but uh, I've completed almost 14 lectures. Uh, today I have studied till 2 o'clock and I have completed 14 lectures and this is really a special moment for me. I mean like a lot of medical students might be doing this across the country, might have done this but uh, it's really a special moment for me and I have shooted this and I am going to document this in my YouTube channel and that's really special for me and uh, I am going to consider this as my proper significant step towards my need PG preparation and uh, I'm like I'm like speechless I have no words and that's it hope you guys got a little motivation from this video if you guys like this video hit that like button make sure you subscribe this channel and uh, I'm gonna meet you soon with the next video bye bye